Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here today. I am talking about something that I feel really strongly about and that is why it's okay to be a girly girl and most importantly, why it's okay to be yourself. I don't know why, but people that dress more on the girly side or that are ultra feminine tend to get a lot of negative feedback. They get looks and questions and comments and it can be really uncomfortable sometimes, especially as a feminine dresser myself. I've written about this on the blog in the past, but I thought it was really important that I make a video about it too, just because I know that there are a lot of you out there that feel the same way. And it can definitely be lonely and confusing and frustrating, so just know that you are not alone. I share the same feelings and it's okay. So a little bit about my fashion history, I've always been a feminine dresser, always. When I was a little girl, my mom dressed me up in the frilliest dresses, bows, ruffles, tulle, you name it, I had it on, probably all in one outfit, and topped off with a giant helicopter bow. <laughs> I loved dressing up, even if it was just to do nothing. I just loved wearing my pretty dresses and my pretty bows and at the same time I loved wearing those to go outside and play hide and seek, to play in the mud, to roll down a grassy hill, to just be outside and play with my friends. As I got older I started babysitting and saving up my money so that I could buy my own clothes and my style didn't really change that much. It was still really girly and really feminine but it was a little bit more colorful and I had a little bit more fun with it. When I got into high school I taught myself how to play guitar and because I started off on electric guitar and played primarily rock music I thought that I belonged in a garage band and therefore I started dressing like a rocker. And keep in mind this was the punk rock days so imagine me with my plaid pants, zippers everywhere, and band t-shirts, and bracelets that had spikes all over them, belts with spikes, and dark eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know if you can envision it just because it is so different from how I dress now and luckily that was short-lived because <laughs> I felt like I was wearing a costume I felt like I wasn't myself I felt like a completely different person like I was just trying on someone else's clothes and I didn't really feel like me and so luckily that phase of my life didn't last very long and then I went back into my girly ways so fast forward to college and I'm still dressing like a beauty queen. Most college students wear sweats or yoga pants or something that is super comfortable because you're running from class to class and you're busy and you've got things to do. Not me. I got ready every single day, was wearing a dress, my nice flats and my nice purses. And you know what? I didn't care because that was who I was. So then I started to get comments. From teachers and they would say wow you always look so dressed up you look like you have somewhere to go uh, yeah I'm going to your class <laughs> and that's totally fine didn't bug me whatsoever so then after college that's really when the comments started coming especially when I became a blogger so if you have been around for a while and you've been an avid reader of my blog and follower on Instagram, then you know that my style has been the same for pretty much the entire time. I know what I like, I know it looks good on me, and I like what I wear. So why change anything? Here's the thing, a lot of people tend to dress the same these days and I'm not saying anything bad about that. If that's your thing, that's totally fine. But that's not my thing so here's the thing I'm not really the type of person to jump on the bandwagon or follow trends or do things just because other people are doing them in fact I do the complete opposite and for some reason people seem to have a problem with this especially when it comes to how you present yourself story time one time I went to an event in LA and I was wearing, you know, a nice dress, but it wasn't like a ball gown or anything. It was just a normal dress. It had polka dots and a little ruffle and it was a little on the shorter side, but not too short. And then I had on some really cute pearl slides and a nice handbag. Well, events are already really uncomfortable. And at the end of the night, 
before I left, this girl came up to me, this other influencer. She walked up to me, don't even know who she was, and she was like, hey, are you her manager? And I'm like, what? And so there was a girl standing next to me, I made a friend there, and I'm like, excuse me, what did you say? <laughs> and she's like, are you her manager? And I'm like, no. And she's all, oh, because you're dressed like a manager. And so I look down and I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> and then she points at me and she starts laughing and laughing and laughing. And oh my gosh, I was like, what planet do you live on? This is so rude. Like, who says that, you know? And so I just kind of walked away and that was that. But the thing is, is that it still bugged me. And to be honest, it still bugs me to this day because who has the right to make fun of what I'm wearing or make comments about what I'm wearing or how I look or anything like that? I don't feel like that's okay. But then some other friends started telling me similar stories about how people would look down on them or they would call them names or they would make fun of them for dressing in a feminine manner. And so that's where the problem is. I think that there is a perception about feminine dressing, but I don't think that it's correct. From what I gather, I think that other people think that feminine dressers or people that wear pink or frills or bows or ruffles are weak, juvenile, not intelligent, not successful, a goody-goody, and so many other things. And that could not be further from the truth. It is just our personal style preference. Just like everyone has their own style preference. Some people dress edgy, some people dress sporty, some people dress classic, some people dress casual, and it's really just preference. It doesn't change who we are on the inside, it doesn't change what kind of person we are, what we like to do, where we're going in life, what goals we have. It's just a way that we adorn ourselves. So another example, back to the guitar playing thing. Once I did go through that punk rock phase <laughs> of wearing all the spiky bracelets and the plaid and the zippers and band tees, and uh, once I went back to my normal feminine style, I got a lot of pushback about that. One event that stands out in my mind is that I did a talent show my senior year of high school and I played Eruption by Van Halen. If you're not familiar with the song, it's a guitar solo that's about a minute, a minute and a half and it is pretty difficult to play. It took me a long time to learn and it's one of the songs that I am most proud of. If you want to see me play in action, I've actually done it on TikTok, so I will leave that link for you below in the description and you can watch it and then let me know your thoughts. But anyways, so I played that song and I cannot tell you the kind of comments I got. People were like, she wasn't really playing that. That was a recording. She was just pretending. Girls can't play like that. People could not believe that I could play guitar as well as a guy just because of the way I looked, just because I'm a female and just because I wore dresses and liked girly things and things that are completely the opposite of rocker, <laughs> people just could not comprehend it. And then another time, when I first started teaching guitar, I had this situation with a parent. So I worked at a store and a parent came in with their son and I was introduced as the guitar instructor and so I met with the parent and the first thing out of his mouth was no and so I was like excuse me and he's all girls can't play as good as guys can so I don't want you as my son's teacher my heart was broken and that's when I really saw that there was a lot of judgment for not only the fact that I was a female, but the way that I looked and the way that I dressed and the way that I presented myself. And sadly, these types of stories are not uncommon, especially when you are a feminine dresser. And it makes me sad because this is the very thing that causes people to not want to be themselves and to not want to dress the way they want because they're afraid of what people are going to say and do. But I want you to know that the way you look and the way you dress is more than who you are. Yes, I dress like a Disney princess most of the time, but 
It also goes a lot deeper than just surface level. Yes, I love girly things. I love watching Gossip Girl reruns and I love playing with makeup and I love all of my dresses and I love burning candles and having fresh flowers around and shopping and just doing all the fun girly things that there is to do. But I'm also kind of a tomboy too. For one, I play a mean guitar <laughs> and I love camping. I love being outside. I love hiking. I played soccer in high school. I used to go skydiving all the time. I love doing things from both spectrums, if that makes sense. They're not mutually exclusive. Just because you like dresses, it doesn't mean that you're always eating cupcakes and bonbons and listening to classical music and watching soap operas. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. We all have different interests and it has nothing to do with the way we dress. The moral of the story is that we are more than what we wear and we are more than how we look. People are going to see what they want to see and they are going to make judgments regardless of what we say or do. We just can't change that. People are going to think certain things and sadly they're going to make comments. But you have to get over that and be confident in yourself. And I know that's really hard to do because I went through the process. We're all unique and different and that makes us special. So of course we're going to have different styles. We shouldn't be judged on that. All of these lessons have come down to one thing. I don't care what people think anymore. I used to really care what people thought of me and that's why I changed myself and went through my punk rock phase because I thought that's what I had to do. I thought that's what guitarists had to do. And of course I've been pressured into trying different things and buying different outfits because I thought that that's what I needed to do in order to fit in. But the most amazing thing is that whenever you become confident in yourself, you don't need that anymore. You don't need validation from other people that you're good enough or that you're pretty enough or that your style is amazing or that just being yourself is okay. I think we need that. I think we need more celebration of who we are and our uniqueness and what we wear. We should not define ourselves by what other people think we should look like or what they think we should wear, regardless of if they're friends, family, strangers. I think it's really important that we be ourselves and that is something that I'm really passionate about because people don't do it enough. You can walk around town or get on the internet and there are a million people that look alike, but there's only one you. And whether you're a feminine dresser like me or you have a completely different style, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you do things for you because you want to. You wear things that make you look good and feel good and feel beautiful because that's what clothing is about. And that's the thing about personal style. It's personal to you. It matters what you think. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. And we shouldn't live in fear of what other people think and let that dictate how we live our lives and how we dress ourselves. People will make you feel like you're doing something wrong or that you need to look a certain way to fit in. And you know what? Those aren't your people. You'll find your people. And for those of you that dress like me and love feminine and romantic and vintage inspired style, I'm here. And this is your community. And you are always welcome here. In fact, this is why I started my blogging journey in the first place. I felt like I was conforming to what everyone wanted from me. And it made me really scared of what other people thought. And that held me back from starting my blog for a long, long time. And it held me back from starting my YouTube for a really long time. But I'm not held back anymore and I feel so free and I feel so happy. And let me just disclose that this is not about materialism or anything like that. It's about who you are on the inside and presenting that on the outside and not being afraid of doing that. I started this whole journey because I wanted to be a fashion designer and somehow it just became this this whole other thing and even though I'm not quite a fashion designer yet I'm still living my dream in a different way and sometimes that's just how life happens but one thing's for sure I don't share just to share I share to inspire and to encourage and to motivate you to chase your own dreams and to be who you really are it is so important to me to do that and I know this video kind of took like a weird turn <laughs> but that's okay because I feel like you guys need to hear this it is such a struggle for a lot of people and I went through it I understand 
And I really hope that my story and my thoughts resonate with what you're going on, how you're feeling, and how you perceive yourself. And I just want you to know that you are good enough and that you shouldn't rely on what others think. You should rely on what you think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm sorry I went off on a tangent, but I told you, this is something I'm really passionate about. <laughs> if you have any requests for future content, please don't hesitate to let me know. And if you've been through this situation yourself, please leave a comment, let me know what lessons you learned and how you overcame it. And if you are a fellow feminine dresser like myself, I want to hear from you too. So that's it for today. I appreciate you tuning in and I hope that you'll join me next Thursday for a new video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications so that you don't miss any future content. Talk to you later. Bye!